What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Yeah, I woke up a little late, so I'm running behind. But that's it's all good. That's all good. So happy hump day because it is Wednesday. And uh, yeah, let's dive into this thing. I'm trying to knock some readings out this morning before my kids wake up. Let's see what's going on with Scorps. What's going on with Scorpios? And thank you all so much for all the congratulations on the baby. I appreciate y'all so 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 much. I can't wait till she get here, y'all. I promise. As soon as she get here, I'm sharing. I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all see her. I'm gonna take a little picture. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, let's see what's going on with Scorpio. All right, fifth chakra and door to romance. Okay, this is the throat chakra here. Somebody could be expressing how they feel about you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Angel of love, door to romance. Somebody could be expressing. It's, it's on their mind, whoever this is. The thinking woman. Um, mm, walking away. An attachment. Some of y'all, y'all walked away from this person. Maybe y'all felt this person was toxic or something like that. The, the attachment anxiety is here. Some of y'all could have felt like this person was toxic, sleepless nights. But uh, y'all might have walked away from this person here. This person can't get their mind off of you. They have hidden emotions for you. It's it's like you got the appreciation with the goddess of the moon. They have these hidden emotions for you of like. It's like they, they appreciate you in some sort of way, appreciate something about you here, but they haven't expressed it yet. What the fuck? What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? Scorpio. Ooh. Cornucopia. I don't know if I like that. Um, <laughs> a lot of y'all got a button, like y'all are looked at as abundance, like a, a, an abundant energy. Um, a lot of people see y'all. Well, that explains it then. A lot of people see y'all attracting this abundance into your life. This, like, you, you look like. You look like a walking bag of money. You look like a walking bag of luck. You look like a walking bag of gold. <laughs> like something about you just, it's your energy, your aura. And you know, not everybody sees money as abundance. You know, it's just the love that you have. <clears throat> look at my voice trying to go out. They don't want me to say it. It's the love that you express. It's the way you carry yourself. Something like that. Appreciation. Look, contract. These are people that... That you were once attached to or a person that you were once attached to and they didn't appreciate you when they had you. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting with this. And now it's like, y'all can't make this shit up. Community and door to spirit. You're doing something like it's like when you step, when you step into the room or you step out, like people see you like you, you ever be out in public and that one person steps in the room. And like the whole mood changes. That's you, <laughs> Scorpio. That's you. The whole mood. I mean, you can make a, a, um, a boring party into an exciting party. A sad party into a happy party. Like it's, it's something about you here. You, you got the gift with the door to spirit. You got the gift. Something is like the way you move, the way you speak, the way you just, just your energy just by gracing, and, and it's not to boost your head or nothing like that. Not trying to get nobody ego up, okay? <laughs> Don't get no um, airhead size head now. But it's something about your energy that just, <clears throat> like, it's like, I'm telling you, my voice is trying to go out. This is crazy. It's like just being near you or being attached to you brings like some sort of abundance in people's lives, like whether it's the laughter, the smile. Or you're that person, like somebody could be having a bad day and you just, your energy just comes towards them. You can give them a hug and like, it's like, it's all better. You know, I don't know. What's this fish chakra for Scorpio? What's the fish chakra for Scorpio, please, spirit? Acceptance and change and trust. Ooh, I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. I told you, I felt like somebody... And change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Somebody lost. Somebody lost you, and they're thinking about that. They they realize how it's like they didn't appreciate you when they had you. 
when they were with you or you was attached to them in so, some sort of way, it might have brought like, it might have felt like, you know, how you grow up and you're like, oh, well, that's always going to be my brother or, oh, that's always going to be my mom. Oh, that's always going to be my uncle. Some of y'all could have detached away from this person and you may not look at it like that. You know, the trust card, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Some of y'all had to had to walk away from these people or this person. And the thing is, I feel like you let them go gracefully. This is why it wasn't no, it wasn't no, you going to miss me when I'm gone type of energy. It was just like, man, you know, I can't, can't do this anymore. You know, I love you, but I got to distance myself and I feel for you. I, I, I hope I wish you the best, you know. It's the way that you did it. It's the way you detached from somebody. And somebody is looking at you and realizing like, well, now I see. I don't know if they're realizing their bad habits. Because we got empathy and failure. It's like they failed to see something from your point of view or be empathetic towards you in some sort of way. Maybe they were selfish and acted some sort of way and it could have projected on you and you had to distance yourself because it was causing you sleepless nights. Now this person is going through that. Like you had you you had to trust your intuition. You needed to move away from this person, and now this person is it's like they're understanding why you changed or why you moved away or why you changed a certain habit and why you don't hang with them no more or why you don't associate with them no more. It, it, it might not have been the person that was toxic. It could have been the energies they had around them that was toxic. Um, but now they're seeing you in this this. It's like once you've left that cornucopia energy is no longer there um let's see what's the cornucopia for scorpio what's the cornucopia for scorpio <clears throat> courage i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence yeah and adversity i accept the challenges are the best way to learn you know what i just got like this is like i'm seeing somebody getting on a train and they're hugging everybody and they're saying goodbye. They're like, yeah, I love you. I love you. No, I'm, I'm going to miss you. It looks like they're going off to college. They're going off to college. They want to change their life. They want a better life. Some of y'all might have had a family member or something like that that didn't support your wishes or did, didn't support your choice. Maybe they felt like you were being too good. Or maybe they felt like you don't need college. All you need is a good job and you can work it and make it and retire. And it was like, I want more for myself. And this could have been one of those people that didn't. They didn't quite understand. Maybe they were older, you know, and they don't believe in change or they believe in tradition, something like that. And this is a they're looking back and they're realizing now that they're seeing you in your abundance as you're smiling and you're happy. And that was like. They're proud that you had the courage and the confidence to overcome that challenge, like, you know, they can't help but to be empathetic about it. Now, look, empathy came out again. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. Now they understand they might have failed before. To understand that you felt like something was better for you and they had to they needed to empathize with that like man you know what or i mean this could have been a relationship maybe you and your partner weren't getting along with each other you know and it was more stressful being together than it was being separated and one of y'all made the choice to leave <clears throat> maybe this person didn't appreciate you maybe they took advantage of you and you chose to leave this person couldn't understand that but now they're understanding as you're growing evolving and you're detaching from them and they're seeing you go be great. I don't feel like this, this isn't a jealous energy that I'm getting of this. This is more of a person that's looking back and realizing their fault of like, I should have appreciated that person while they was here, but I understand that I don't have access to that person anymore, you know? And if I did, it would be a blessing. But if I, if I don't, it's okay. You know, this is, this is an understanding energy. Yeah. Cause the freedom and humor. Yeah, you're setting yourself free. You're finding happiness. You're, you, some of y'all could be laughing more, just being at peace more. Somebody sees that whoever this person is, this is somebody that once took advantage of you or didn't appreciate you when they had you in their life here. And it's it's causing them to have sleepless nights. What's the fish chakra? What's the fish chakra? Expectation and thoughts. Yeah. So some of y'all, I'm telling y'all, this person, they didn't expect to feel this way. Now all they can do is think about you. And it's after an ending, coffin, occupation. Yeah, you stop. Either this could be a job. You could have left a job. They didn't appreciate you at that time. You left. And then now they're looking at it like, man, you know what? 
I really should have appreciated that employee more. They really pulled a lot of weight. They will. They really knew their job inside and out. You know, sometimes people don't appreciate us until we're gone, and that's what's going on here. Now that you're no longer putting in the work, the time, the energy, the effort pouring into this person, they think about you. They have sleep. I mean, literally up at night, sleepless nights. I just seen 10, 10 on the phone. Can't sleep. Eight plus two was 10. They didn't expect to feel this way with this ending. Mm. So, um, some of y'all, this person, they were a false person to you or they had some of the family members around them might have been false. People that they allowed in the home and in, in the environment around them was false. Maybe they acted some sort of way. Maybe you told this person, like, man, you know what? Your family don't like me. You know, I'm, I'm just going to leave. I'm not going to come around anymore. So like, now they're starting to realize that because now they're surrounded by all these fake, phony, false people. Some, sometimes you got to lose the realest person on your team to realize how many fake people are around you. And this is what's happening here. Like, this person... They could be realizing how many fake people they got around them now. And you would you were always the real one. And they they weren't, they didn't appreciate you when they had you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you was the person they could always call when they was down on their luck. Or maybe you was the person they could always vent to and you would never tell a tell a soul. You know? It's it's hard to come by them type of special people. And somebody didn't expect to miss you that much or, or, or you be on their mind that much. And you are because and the reason it's happening is because they're seeing the people around them say they open up to one of them. Man, everybody know their business or they can't they can't even ask somebody for some money because then, you know, it's like I like money. I ain't got no money for you to help you out for what? You know, it's, it's one of those things. Uh, it's kind of sad. What's the cornucopia? The Scorpio. What's the cornucopia for Scorpio, please, here? Imprisonment? Yeah, it's... Uh, I just heard. It feels like I just walked right out of heaven. Some of y'all, this is a love a lover that y'all used to be with. They feel like they've locked themselves out of your life. Like, outside the club, can't get in. Privileged lady. You could be single, independent, self-sufficient, working on yourself, building, growing, you know, business owner type of energy. You're doing your own thing. Male or female, it's a privileged lady. Male or female. My voice is going out, y'all. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it keeps going out in this reading. Um, this person feels like they outside the club can't get in. They feel like you're unattainable now. Like you're on another level because you overcame hurdles and challenges in your life that um, they could have helped put in your way. You know, they could have put a couple of step stools or, or or blockages in your in your way and you overcame them and you're still in this walking in your purpose because 11 is purpose you know that's you walking in your path um and 12 is this number here so two plus one is three it's giving me the three of wands you're looking towards the future your ship's coming in 10 journey unexpected income house some of y'all moved relocated changed your residence you know you started a new foundation you started building elsewhere and i mean very successful very abundant here you overcame it with this journey card. You went on a different path, a new path here. And now somebody feels like, you know, they don't have access to you anymore. You know, it's that kind of energy. Maybe they didn't expect to miss you the way that they do, but they they miss you. You're on their head. You're on their, I was about to say their head heavy, but you're on their brain heavy. Whoever this is. What's the uh, fish chakra? What's the fish chakra for Scorpio? Eight of Swords, the High Priestess. I'm telling you, secretly, you are in their head. I mean, they just... Eight of Swords and the High Priestess, but they won't reveal it. It's like a hidden emotion, secret emotions here. The chariot, you've moved on. Some of y'all, y'all might have been married to this person, the Hierophant. Or this was like, I'm telling you, it was like a traditional thing. Like this person seen something as tradition, like... Maybe maybe it's, maybe y'all are close family, brother, sister, mother, father, right? So they always assume that you would be there. Or they always assume that you would come back. But this is somebody that you really changed from, like you really moved away from, overcame. You know, at one point, maybe you've seen this person always being in your life or they seen you as always being in, 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 in your life, you know? But I feel like there was something that went down where 
you overcame this. Like you had to break. Like for me, for me, for example, I believed in, you know, family, like brother, sister, mother, father. But one of my family members did something that was so unforgivable that I can't, like I wouldn't even respect myself if I went back to this. And now it's like, this is something you, I mean, we like this is the person I would have rolled for until the wheels fell off. But I will never, ever allow this person back in my life. And I hate to say that, but it's 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 a it's one of those situations where they did something to me that I could never see my like I would be disrespecting myself by allowing that person access to me again. You see what I'm saying? So this is kind of like what this energy is. And this person they have it. and the thing is they won't even speak it though. Like why? Well, you might have distanced yourself where they can't even reach you. So I mean that could that could be what it is. Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, the Emperor. Some of y'all, it took y'all a while to get here to fill your own cup, but you gained control, baby. You you took that control. You in this Emperor energy, Queen of Pentacles. Some of y'all focus on your money, your business, your, your, your goals. I'm saying Knight of Pentacles is the slowest night in the deck, but it carries weight. It has value to it. So when 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 it finally arrives. It's not arriving empty-handed. So it's like maybe for a long time, it took you, you know, you held on to a situation, but for a long time, you, you held on to a situation. You let shit slide. You let stuff go, you know, you know, but when you finally started pouring back into yourself with this Nine of Cups energy, uh, pouring into your wishes, and you took control with the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles, and you let it go, that was it. Yeah, Ace of Wands. You went on a new venture. You started over. You had to let this go. What was that? What's the cornucopia for Scorpio? Six of Swords. Yeah, you're moving on. Karma Waters here. You're getting away from this chaos, this rockiness here. Maybe with this person, it was a lot of chaos, rockiness, the moon card, two, two of cups. See so, you how know, this was a relationship, four of cups. They could have rejected you back then, you know, and you moved on from it. You overcame it. This could have been a family member that kind of like outcasted you or, or kind of like wrote you off. What's the cornucopia? I'm seeing somebody walking down the street. With like a, it looks like the fool. It's the fool card. Walking down the street with the little the little stick with the little baggie on it. Little bandana with the little stuff. Somebody, y'all could have like went out there on your own with no support. And you did something and you fucking killing it. The Hierophant. Yeah. Some of y'all are, 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 I just heard, making new traditions, creating new traditions here with the Six of Swords and the Hierophant. Y'all are creating new things, building new things, getting in new commitments, being dedicated to new opportunities. Some of y'all, this is like a, yeah, the star, healing, King of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this is just in the judgment. Some of y'all, this is you moving on into a new relationship. It's like somebody didn't think you would ever move on and get into a new commitment, and you did it. It's like, wow, yeah, justice and the will of fortune and things are changing for you. Others of y'all, this could be, say, for example, say one of your businesses didn't work out. You didn't give up. You overcame that and you created you a whole nother business. And it's doing better than the business that, that you had before. And maybe some of your family members didn't believe it. The chariot. Yeah, you keep moving forward. I like this. Overcoming every obstacle that's been thrown in your way. Overcoming every challenge that has been put in your path. And each time, it's like whoever these people are, whatever the situation was, or whoever this person was, whatever blockages or hurdles they kept putting in your in your way, you overcame it. And now, maybe, maybe at one point you kept allowing this person to come back, or you kept allowing these people to come back, and that's what kept stopping you, or that's what kept becoming the challenges for you in your life. But now, with this cornucopia, this is they outside the club really can't get in with the six of swords and the hierophant. And you're you're being committed to this. Like you've you could have written a whole new tradition. Like it's like some sort of, some sort of commitment in your life. Like maybe maybe in your head you thought, okay, family will always be family. They'll always be in my life. But now you done changed the way you're like you changed your belief into no family ain't family just because they family just because we blood that don't mean shit. 
like family is the people who pour into me the way I pour into them. Like so, something about you breaking, breaking the mold. I, I don't know. I hope I'm explaining this right. Like, and it's due to these challenges and these setbacks that you have. It's like you've realized who really are there for you and who's not. And you're like, it, it's like, yeah, that might be my brother, sister, mom, and uncle, but they not family. That we blood related, but they not family. It's like finding your soul tribe and then realizing like, now this is family. These are people that rock with me, support me, love me, pour into me. I pour into them. Like this is family. You know, it's it's and this is justice. I like this. Uh, some of y'all can have your own platform with the star card, you know, some of y'all can be recognized, but there's a lot of healing, a lot of hope. It's like Hope has been restored in your life here. Maybe at one point you felt lost. You felt like, you know what, wasn't nothing working out. But man, Scorp, I like this. I like this. This is pretty. <laughs> Look, this is pretty. <laughs> All right, give me a couple cards and I'm going to end this reading off and then I'll start another one for you. Let's see. Give me a couple cards. What's the T? This chakra, acceptance, change, me. Yeah, child neglect. See, these are people... They neglected you before. They didn't give you no time, no energy, no effort. Some of y'all, this was your own parents. Others of you, this could have been like a partner that you had. Y'all have children with. They neglected you. They kind of just, you know, ignored you, made you feel outcasted, cloud hungry, wasting time. Yeah. These are people, they were willing to say and do anything to keep you around, but they weren't pouring into you in any sort of way. What's the fifth chakra? Acceptance and change. Wolf and sheep's clothing. These were hidden enemies here. People that were taken from you, that you had family issues. But I'm telling you, some of these people were very close to you. They were taken from you, taking advantage of you here, robbing, robbing you emotionally, physically, mentally, uh, financially in some sort of way. I'm telling you, they didn't think that you would ever let go. Oh, you got uh, some of these people were cheating on you. Lord, sleeping around, caught a case, sexual infection, sexual disease, and rash. They were sleeping around, you know, if this was a lover, they were sleeping around, messing messing off on you here, and then broke ass, ain't shit. They treated you like you wasn't nothing, like you wasn't uh, valuable, or like you weren't worthy of honesty and, and respect and things like that here. Yeah, now you're dodging these people. You're unfazed now, because you're dodging them, you're letting them go. The, the way that they treated you, you're, you're, you've accepted it. And you've changed, and now you're saying, okay, you know what? They might have done me that way, but I'm not going to do them dirty. Just play. I'm just going to detach. And you let them go. You've seen them for who they truly were, which was a wolf in sheep's clothing. What about cornucopia with courage and adversity? Cornucopia. Yeah, ignoring. See, you're ignoring these people now. They no longer have, have access to you. Maybe in the past, they could have came towards you, kissed on your ass. Look, love, tri uh, love triangle. Wait, yeah, love triangle. Third party, low vibrational. You see them as low vibrational. They may have people always involved. This, does, this doesn't have to be like a sexual connection. They could just be, you, you know how I said, uh, you would ask this person for help and everybody know your business. It, it's that type of energy. It could be that. Or it could be a lover that just always had a third party. They didn't think you would ever move on and get into a new relationship, ever be happy again. You're ignoring this person. They no longer have access to you. They can't go from being with a third party to coming back and kissing your ass and saying, oh, can we make up and get back together? No, you're ignoring this person. You're not wasting any more time anymore with these people or this person. Yeah, broke ass ain't shit. Now, they, now they're being shown as the person that ain't shit. This broke, this neglectful, that don't take care of their kids, that don't take care of their responsibilities. What's the cornucopia? Courage and adversity. And that's low vibration. Same cards keep coming out, y'all. Bad karma. And this is their karma. They no longer have access to you. And look what's trying to pop out. Boss bitch energy. So a lot of y'all have bossed up. You're in this abundant energy here. You're enjoying life. You're enjoying yourself. You're enjoying your time, energy, and effort. All the hard work that you've put in to overcome and move forward here. And these people, they're just sitting. All they can do is watch. All they can do is watch. Yeah, love triangle. With their little third parties. That now they, look. Because you know ghosted this situation. You don't want anything to do with this anymore. Love triangle, kissing ass, and ghosted. This person, the same way that they was treating you, they're treating these third parties like that. But they don't have access to you anymore, so they're going to have to do it with the third parties because they can't do it with you no more. You done moved on. You're like, you look at them as low vibrational, like not healthy connections. You look at them as uh, 
devilish attachments, like, you know, toxic attachments. So this is why you've released it. And people are realizing that like, damn, like this person really has let this go. People are seeing this. And not only are they seeing that you've let it go, but they're seeing that you're more abundant. You're happy now. And now people are starting to realize like, damn, I should have appreciated Scorpio when they were around. Because now we don't have access. It's, it's not rainbows, sunshines, and Skittles anymore. Okay. <laughs> it's rainy days, cloudiness. Okay. No sunlight. Because these are some dark ass cars. If you look at them, I mean, it just, it don't, ugh. But anyway, okay, Scorp, this is what I have for you. I'm going to do another reading real quick. Hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.